Mm. Sorry, I don't know if I missed, did I miss the chat then? Hey, does it? Oh, okay, no worries, you're paying for a lot. Yeah, I've played that. I've played, uh, I love the original Fallout um, 4, is it? I couldn't get into the multiplayer one. It surprised me because the whole reason I want about it, there was one thing about Fallout 4 I really, really missed. Felt like it was lacking with multiplayer. And then they brought out 76 and I was like, all my dreams have been answered. I was so obsessed with, with uh, Fallout 4. And then I just, I don't know, didn't, didn't like it, wasn't feeling it. And uh, loads of people felt like that, it's weird. How are you anyway, Dad? Uh, I've actually not long got up. I'm in such a foul mood. I um, I, I couldn't sleep last night, and um, so I woke up. My care had been, which normally would be great, that my care has been in the morning because they like help me with the they help me with the dogs and you know help me with the stuff that I can't do in my room and that because I struggle. And um, but what she'd done is. And the crazy thing is that the carer that I had this morning is my one of my she's my absolute favourite one actually. But what she'd done is she'd put a wash on without asking me, and she just grabbed every single thing in the room that was out and just shoved it all in the washing machine. And I'm talking about like hats, coats, um, everything you name it, stuff that didn't need washing at all, stuff I was going to wear, you know, that wasn't that I needed. But the, and then. She put all the lights in with the darks, so now all my trousers, all my white, anything that was white or light colour is dyed a weird green colour. Because she just mixed everything in. And I was like, what the f... And, really, and I, was, oh, I was so angry. I'm not the best when I first wake up anyway. Like, I'm a dragon for the first half an hour, hour anyway. But oh my god, I was so livid. So I just thought, why would you do... Like, if you saw somebody's hat and coats you're not gonna why would you just and then on top of that you've just thrown all the I, if this was your own house you wouldn't wash white colors with reds and dark greens would you you know like in your own house so why do it in mine oh it's fuming so i co contacted the office and they were like we're all on holiday all the you know all the majors um the manager and everyone all the managers were on holiday just ring the office and i'm like all right you've got a group you've got a group a group chat for the whole for the whole company but you want me to call up somebody who's got severe Lyme disease and they're me I was like right okay <laughs> fucking bastard so I called up and then it made me even angrier because this woman on the other on the phone Vicky who's I guess she's like the one of the receptionists or whatever I told her what happened I, and I said it really nicely I just said look you know can you tell them can you tell Chantel not to or any of the carers not to mix when they're doing a wash don't just throw all the darks in with the lights because like, I said my Everything that was white and light, a light grey has now been dyed a, a strange colour. Um, and she was like, OK, I'll tell her. And then um, I said, also, you know, next time, just all the stuff that she washed was like stuff that I was going to wear. Um, none of it, none, not, not a single item of it needed washing. It was, um, it was things like my coats, my hoodies, my hats. I was like, you know, next time, could you just get them to check with me before they... And she snapped back at me which I was just like, that was the bit that's made me angry. She went, well, you told us not to wake you up. So how are we supposed to do that? And I'm like, yes, because I've got severe ME. I've got, I've got a very, very severe condition of Lyme disease and ME. So every time you wake me up, which is every single shift that you try and wake me up, it means that I can end up in a coma and I can, I can shut down, my body can shut down. I know it's extremely difficult for my heart and my breathing. I didn't say all this, obviously. I just said, yes, because I have severe ME. 
So I'm, I still don't want you to wake me up every single shift, but I'm just saying that rather than just sticking on a, a wash without asking me what needs washing, why not wait until the next shift when I'm awake? Because, like, my laundry, my laundry was caught up on anyway. It was just... But what it got me was just the fact that she snapped at me. Well, you told us not to wake you up. And I said, yes. And I still don't want you to wake me up. But obviously, common sense says that if you go to someone's house and they are asleep, how about you just wait until the next shift, or the next time you see them when they're awake, and then see what needs washing? I mean, I'm, I'm just going to go out on a limb here and use common sense. But, you know, like, if it was me and I was a receptionist, right, for a care company, I would understand that you've got complete strangers coming into your house. Like, I have, I have to have complete... Like, I don't want to be like this. I don't want to spend my life bedridden, in agony, wishing I was dead. You know what I mean? I don't want to be like this. I don't want to have to have complete strangers come into my room and have to do stuff for me. You know, I'm not even old. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm a nursing home age. But so what gets me is that she's not... If I was in her position, I would understand that obviously sometimes carers are going to get it wrong. And obviously sometimes people who are disabled are going to be stressed and upset that they've got a complete stranger coming into their house and, and doing things wrong in their house and dyeing their clothes and getting everything, you know, and like washing things, you know what I mean? Like, if it was me, I would have been like apologetic and been like sympathetic, even if she maybe felt like she had to stand up for the other carer. I don't even think the other carer is a bad person. She's not terrible. She just made a mistake. But don't talk to me like a dickhead because, you know, like, I'm, I'm saying to you, like, please, can you just wait until I'm awake to ask me what laundry is doing? Because I'd rather that you did that than just now I can't, now I've got no coats to wear, I've got no hoodies to wear, you've dyed all my clothes wrong colour, don't snap back at me. So, oh, honestly, I was so... I, I, I honestly was so angry that she snapped at me like that. Well, you told us not to wake you up. And I was like, oh, my God. And I swear to God, I was thinking, I really, really wish I wasn't disabled and I didn't have a severe chronic illness right now because if I could go to a... To a if I could go to a fucking boxing... To a... You know, what do you call it? Um... um what do they call it? Like, if I could go to kickboxing right now, or anything, if I could go for a run, I, like, I just, I need, I'm so angry. <laughs> because I had, like, the manager say to me, we're on holiday, we don't care, don't bother texting us, ring the office. And then I rang the office and I had her talk to me like a piece of shit, instead of just being like, yeah, fair, fair dues, you know, we messed up. Um, yeah, next time we'll, 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 we'll you know, we'll wait until you're awake and we'll, you know, n none of that. No, I got a fucking attitude back. Now, I literally want to just fucking punch something. I'm so angry. Like, it's not like... People don't realise, right, when you spend most of your life bedridden, the frustration that you feel, and you can't let it out. I can't exercise. I can't fucking go anywhere. I can't fucking go for a walk. I can't fucking... Like, I can't, I can't even release the endorphins a normal person needs to release. So as you can imagine, that frustration just builds and builds and builds and builds. So then when you get somebody who is lacking in empathy and lacking in sympathy for somebody who's in a very, very difficult life situation and has been like this for 10 years, it just makes you, like, want to scream. Because you just think, like, you wouldn't last a fucking year in my, in my body. Not a single fucking... You wouldn't even last six months. <laughs> when you can't look after yourself, you can't fucking... You've barely got enough strength to brush your fucking teeth. You've barely got enough fucking strength even just to fucking leave your fucking bed and just go to a fucking th five metres away from your bed and sit by on a chair. Just that alone is so excruciating, is so difficult, is so painful. But I tell you what, you snap back at me because I've asked you if they can just fucking do the laundry correctly and ask me... Yeah, I'll tell you what, you do that when you've got a normal fucking life and you can actually stand up, walk, get in a car, drive, go to work, go to a fucking park, go swimming, doing all the things that you would, you would ever want to do, you couldn't even imagine being in my position, not even for fucking one fucking week. But I tell you what, you snap back at me like a fucking prick. Oh.
<laughs> and the crazy thing is, I think to myself, if I just maybe if I just drink a coffee, that might make my anger a little bit. But I, the thing is, I haven't even got the strength to make a coffee. I'm in too much pain, <laughs> so I can't even do that. I am good. A little hungover. Laugh out loud. How about yourself? Fallout 76. So you got a hangover. <laughs> Fallout 76 is good fun when you get yourself stuck in. Currently building myself a house. Laugh out loud. Oh dear. I hope you managed to get a good nap sometime today. Oh dear. Sounds like a nightmare morning. It's not that bad. I mean, oh, fucking hell. You know, at least I get help. There's a lot of people out there who are in my position, have, have similar very you know severe they're either disabled or they have illnesses and they don't get any help or they they just left to die or they have to struggle on or they they get a little bit of help from you know a little bit here and there but not enough to survive so i shouldn't complain because just the fact that i've even got the help is is, is a miracle really I, I know people that you know have have similar illnesses to me and um they just get left they they, they don't even get care there's people, there's people that have died of ME from lack of care because no one, no one, no one helped them. So I, I really shouldn't complain. <laughs> it's just, I, it for me, I'm just finding it so frustrating. Is the way that people treat people with chronic illnesses? It just, it blows my mind that they, they don't understand. You know, she's like. And the fact that she's like, well, you know, they the amount of times I've had to tell the care company, can you not get the carers to wake me up? And they they just don't understand. <laughs> they don't get it. They don't understand that if you if you constantly wake somebody up with their me. Trying to explain it to them because they think that you're just napping or you're just resting and it's like no <laughs> like my body has shut down and i've just got to the point now where i just can't be asked explaining it anymore i haven't got it in me i just have not got it in me to keep explaining it to people i don't care if people don't get it just fuck off and don't get it then i i don't, I don't care anymore i'm done i'm done explaining why i can't talk sometimes why i can't use my phone why i can't move I just, I, I just, I fucking, I'm done in. I'm just done. I just can't be asked anymore. I feel bad now. This is supposed to be a nice, relaxed thing, and I've just had a massive run. <laughs> Where do you live? I just, I can't, I can't get my head around that, I actually do that woman, like, fucking hell, if, I, if I'd called someone up and said, one of your carers has dyed all my clothes green, accidentally, because they put the wrong one, I'd be like, oh God, oh Jesus, I'm so sorry, not that, like, you know, not that it's her fault in any capacity, and not that it's, you know, I'm not even that bothered about the girl that did it, it's, just, it's a simple, you know, it's not a simple mistake, it's, I just feel like it's a little bit, like, you wouldn't do that in your own home, would you, so why do it in mine? Why is it okay for you to... what? So in your home, you'd get all your white washing and all your bright colours and you'd just throw them all together, would you, in a washing machine? You wouldn't care if you lost... If you dyed all your white stuff red or... You you wouldn't do that in your own home, so why do it in mine? And I just thought, like, she could have just been a bit like... 
you know, if it was me, I would have been like, oh my God, I'm so sorry that, you know, you've had your trousers all dyed random colours. <laughs> but no, I didn't, get, I didn't get an apology, didn't get nothing. No sympathy, no, didn't give a shit. And then when I asked them, when I asked her to wait until I'm away, until I'm a, a day when I'm, until I'm having a shift where I can actually talk, because sometimes I can't, I haven't got the strength to talk and move. And when I ask her to just wait until I'm having a day where I can communicate, to ask me which what needs putting on so they don't get it wrong, she fucking snaps back at me. I just thought, fucking hell. Like, why would you give attitude to one of your disabled clients? <laughs> just, uh, just, it, uh, it's mental to me that. Rolla, come here. Have you got yourself trapped? Oh, you're all right. Are you okay? What's the matter? Yes, I can see you, Billy. I can see you very clearly. Come here a minute. We'll go see the kids. Billy, out of the way a minute. Billy, just out, out, out of the way a minute, baby. B Billy, I can't see. Billy, just go there, over there a minute. No, fully, fully over there. Go there a minute. Rollo, come here. Good boy. Let's go. Come here a minute, baby. Oh, I can't reach you. Okay, come on, let's go see the kids. Oh, God. Ah. Oh. Oh. Are you coming in, George? Are you staying? You staying? Such a foul mood. <laughs> Can't get over a foul mood I'm in. Let's go see the kids. <laughs> 